we have a, a graphic of words or phrases that now you can't say. You can't say that. I mentioned a few of them before. And I'm just curious. Some of these maybe are obvious, but if you know why some of these are on the list now. Mom and dad, I see why that would be up there. Why would mom language. and dad be up there? Um, I come from, I have a daughter with another woman. And when it's being taught in school that, oh, that, that's just the, the norm, that it's just mom and dad, it kind of offends us because we are lesbians, you know what I mean? We come from the community and it makes us feel like we're not important enough to be called mom and mom or parents. So should I stop saying that? No, not because you. Because you're mom and mom? No, not you per se. I'm just saying as far as it's oh, being but taught. It, me, anybody. If, we, if that was our experience, yours is mom and mom, I'm happy to say mom and mom, but why no. would mom and dad be on the don't say list? Mm -hmm. it's, why not add mom and mom? Yeah, yeah <laughs> that, I mean, yeah, I, I get your point on that. add dad and dad, but why is mom and dad offensive to your sensibilities? I mean, to be honest, because it's being taught to my daughter and she doesn't have a father figure. She sees two mothers. And so every time she reads something that says dad in there, you can see a little bit in her eyes. It's like, well, what's going on over there? Why don't I have a dad? So it kind of, it's a, it's a sensibility issue on the child's part as well. So I'm looking out for my daughter. Of in course. that sense. Well, isn't that a conversation that you should be having with your daughter anyway? Oh, so we that have. she doesn't we, take offense to terms We like definitely this? have had that conversation, but in the same sense, there is an accountability for the school as well. I feel like when they're putting that inside of our homework and stuff like that, it's making the kid feel certain a certain type of way. Help me yeah. out here. It is the heterosexism of it all. Mom and dad are not canceled phrases. I can assure you, in schools all across the United States, school leaders are sending memos and teachers are sending memos home with their children about mom and dad. I think what, what we're missing here is the opportunity to be decidedly and deliberately inclusive mm -hmm. of all parents. I agree. I would say that of all these words on the on the list, the only thing that I've heard be talked about in my entire life being canceled, and it's not canceled, is the word tribe. It's about the rhetoric changing. We're, we're not failing our kids these days at all. We're just changing. We're progressing, and we're allowing us to become more inclusive of a new generation of people. I'm glad that your parents were married for 50 years, but something is now changing, and we have to account for that. Well, my thought is, regardless of your skin color, regardless of your race, why would you take offense to any of these terms or words? I'll give you one. No, it's spooky. Master bedroom. Mm. Here's a historical lesson. Mm. Master bedroom is the bedroom where master slept. I understand. Where he raped enslaved black women. I understand. Where black women who were enslaved were his servants. Talk about it. As we come to understand the historical <laughs> origins of the word, I think we can agree that was an awful place. We probably shouldn't call it that. Can we call it something else like the primary bedroom or the main bedroom in a house? But we don't want to call it the place where master raped my great, great, great grandmother. I understand. But what my point I'm trying to make is that being offended by what somebody says or by a certain term is a choice that you make. You have a choice to not be offended. You have a choice to not let that affect you. But you also I, have the choice to not use the word. People are free to say whatever they want to say within reason, but absolutely, you're free to respond and react to that however you choose. And I think being offended by something is a choice that you make. You can mm -hmm. choose to simply ignore the, the reference that it has and to not let it affect you and to not let it make you angry and to not let it make you sad. And yeah, to that's not true and easy. I mean, we had to deal with it most of our lives and our grandparents getting called the N-word all the time. We had to finally be able to choose not to let it affect us, but it's hard. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.